Hi everybody, I want to do a video today about the Federal Bureau of Imagination and this is Catherine McBanua's defense for her upcoming trial and I want to talk more about the theory of her defense of entrapment and let's just quickly go and look at the Merriam-Webster dictionary. What exactly entrapment is? So we're going to look at the definition and it's the action of luring an individual into committing a crime in order to prosecute the person for it. I believe that Catherine's lawyers will probably come back to this defense from time to time and especially talking about her wiretaps and saying that she was set up, that she was lured into this, um, talking about the crime or tricked into talking about things that she didn't do or anything surrounding what the police have done after the murder to her. Catherine's defense has also talked about police brutality when Catherine was arrested. She was said to have been roughed up. They said excessive force was used and to the point where she urinated on herself. And I was reading through my comments and one of uh, the people that watched my videos had, had made a really, really good point. So Tim F, and this was probably a while back, so I apologize, Tim, if I did not see this one. He said, excessive force during the arrest. You know, was there any bruising or was, was there any body cam footage? So if Catherine's defense was going to say that there was excessive force used, we have not seen the body cam footage and there was no photos of bruising taken to my knowledge or anyone else's knowledge. That's why I believe that this sympathy is going to be used in her defense to create this illusion of the bad police, you know, good cop, bad cop, and the Federal Bureau of Imagination, which they have said at the last trial, which is to say that this whole thing is just a scheme and, you know, the, the FBI is making this up and they should be looking for the real killers. So, all right, the next thing I wanted to talk about this idea of entrapment and the jail letters that were written, and uh, please forgive me, I've forgotten the name of, of, of the, the man that wrote the letter to the state and asked that um, they take a deeper look at Luis Rivera's testimony saying that the state coerced him to say that Catherine was involved and that they're going to probably try to get those letters admitted, and I'm, I'm not sure if they're going to be able to, but Another example of them alluding to that the state is corrupt. And I believe that Wendy or Donna's lawyers have called this whole process fanciful fiction. They just say that this whole idea that the Adelsons are involved and all of this is just fanciful fiction. It's just fake. And, you know, it's, it's interesting. I'd be interested to hear what their theory is of what actually happened. Um, this interference with evidence or, you know, alluding that there's something that these witnesses are not experts in their field and hopefully justice will be served in this trial. So stay tuned, you guys, for my Q&A at the end of the week. Hopefully if there's enough questions, we'll keep doing it weekly. And thank you guys so much for listening. I want to do another video series on entrapment and the fanciful fiction and the web that Catherine's lawyers and Charlie, Charlie's lawyers might be spinning. So stay tuned, you guys. Thank you so much for watching.